So when it comes down to a survival pack, which I have here, um, they come in many different shapes and sizes. Um, it's usually a backpack of some sort. I just went with this style because of how much I can fit in it. Right now, I do have it set up as a an advanced hiker camper pack, only because of what I have in it. Um, it does tend to get heavier with the camping than it is hiking. Um, hiking, you actually don't need as much, but um, it's a different scenario for different aspects, such as the hiking or camping, as what you're going to have in it, as to what you're actually going to be doing with it. Um, it's basically something that you can fit all your needs into one centralized location and have it on your back. So that way it makes it easier to carry all of what you're going to have with you that you're going to be using. Um, like I said, it all depends on what your scenario is going to be and is what you're going to be using it for. Um, it is nice having a larger pack versus a smaller one just in case you want to do either or. Um, it's just so that way you can actually fit what you're going to be using in it and having a list prepared to what you're going to be doing um other than that having a pack is actually not a bad thing especially what you're going to be using it for um hiking you're going to have your basics for when you're walking keeping it light camping you're going to have it a little have a little bit heavier because of what you're going to have in it as well um and it's more for an extended stay versus traveling only for maybe a couple of hours or a few hours um versus like an overnight stay or a few nights stay um but i will be going through some of the stuff that i do have in it 